Hi, this is Justin from Ajar Productions. In this video, I want to show you how to animate individual lines of text with InDesign. So here I am in the finished document in the interactivity preview. Let's take a look at what it looks like when it's finished. I'm just going to click the play button to play the preview. And there you can see the animation coming on one line at a time. So here's what the starting document looks like. I have all my text in one text frame. Each line is styled differently, but it's all part of one text frame. So if I tried to animate this right now, it would just move as a block. We can even test it out. Uh, I can only apply one animation to it. So let's do like a fly in from the bottom and test that and there's all the text together. I want each individual line to animate separately. So let's take a look at how we do that. I could cut each line and paste it into its own text frame, but that's kind of a pain even with three lines. Now imagine I had even more lines or I wanted to animate each character. There's gotta be an easier way to do this. Well, fortunately there is. I've created a split text extension for InDesign. To download it, just go to this website when you enter your name and email address and hit subscribe, you'll get an email. Inside the email is a confirmation link. When you click that confirmation link, it will take you to a download. Once you get the file downloaded to your hard drive, you can unzip it. I'm just going to do that in the Mac by double clicking. And inside there, there's an installer. Choose the one that matches your operating system and double click to get started. Choose the version of InDesign that you want to install it with. Click select click accept and install and your installation will be complete. Now back in InDesign, if you go up to Window, down to Utilities, and Scripts, that'll open your Scripts panel. Inside Application, which you might need to twirl open, and Ajar Productions, you'll find the Split Text extension. To run it, double click on it, and then there are a lot of different options to split, and we're just going to choose every line in this case and then click OK. And now you can see we have three different lines of text. Now I want this line to be in front, so I am just going to hold Command Shift and the right bracket to bring it to the front. Close my scripts panel, and now we can animate these lines individually. So I'm going to go to my animation panel, and this one in the top, I want to come down from the top. I want the middle one to fly in from the right and the bottom one to come in from the bottom. Now let's test that out. I'm gonna hit the preview spread button at the bottom of the animation panel and that'll open the interactivity preview and I'm just gonna hit the play button to refresh it. So now these come in one at a time exactly as we want. And now I can do some tweaking to get the animation exactly the way I want it. Cause right now it's a little slow and it just plays one at a time. I wanna have it be a little more dynamic. So I'm going to close this and I will select the first line and let's see, mostly I just want this one to be faster. So I'm going to make it a half second instead of a whole second. Uh, the second one, I'm going to make this a half second. Actually, I would just want to make all of them a half second. And then I also want this to come in sort of more swiftly and like from a longer distance. So I'm going to use my selection tool to select the motion path. I'll use the direct selection tool to grab the rightmost point. I'm gonna hold shift to keep it in place and drag it so it starts out about where this image is on the right. And then I actually want the motion path for the bottom one to be a little shorter. So I'll select that one and basically do the opposite with that. You can see it's very tricky to get your selection right because the motion path is so tiny. So now let me select it and see, yep, I got my motion path there. Let's go ahead and preview it again. That's definitely faster. I like that a lot better. But I still don't want them being individual. I want to get them to overlap a little bit more. So for that, I'm going to go to the timing panel. And I actually want these to play kind of together but on a delay so they don't wait for each other to start. So I'm just going to click on the top one and then shift click to the bottom one and link them all together. And then I'll add a quarter second delay on the second one and a half second delay on the last one. And let's take a look and see how that appears in the preview.
That's exactly what I'm looking for. Now we have individual lines, each animated separately in InDesign. You can export this animation to EPUB, to publish online, or using In5. If you enjoy the techniques in this video, you might also be interested in how to create a typewriter effect. That lesson can be found in this free online course. You can visit the URL on screen, and then scroll down through all the lessons, the very last one, how to create a typewriter effect. And there, you'll find a lesson that does a similar effect, except that it does it with each individual character. That's it for this video. If you found it useful, please click the like button. And of course, if you want to see more like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching.